Welcome back to Travel Life. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to cook steak the proper way. So we've got a tomahawk. Man, I'm going to tell you what, we were in Mexico and found this steak and we were all excited about it. And then we got back to the steaks and guess what we found? A tomahawk. And uh, this was $25. Yes, we got it for $25. It's three pounds, two ounces. And it was uh, on sale for $8 a pound. And it is choice, grain-fed American beef. And we're going to grill it. We're going to grill it the proper way. We'll go over that in a second. My wife is complaining because it stinks in here. Well, this is a simple marinade for your asparagus. And it is simply some balsamic vinegar, some butter, and kosher salt. It does put off a bit of a smell. smells a little pungent. But it is delicious once it's grilled. Here's the next step. I always cook with charcoal. I love cooking. Charcoal is my favorite. But no, I do not use lighter fluid. I can taste lighter fluid and charcoal. If you use lighter fluid, somebody like me can taste it. And yes, it does taste terrible and it ruins the food. So please do not use lighter fluid. And once you buy a grill, don't use lighter fluid because lighter fluid will season the grill to taste like lighter fluids. All right, our next step in the grilling process is, of course, you let your steak come up to room temperature, completely all the way to room temperature, and the only seasoning that I use is kosher salt. No, you cannot use any other salt but kosher salt only. Hottest you can get your grill, room temperature steak with kosher salt, garnish with butter at the end, delicious. So 125, 126, and we're done. So here we go with the tomahawk. We cooked it as high as we could get it. Kosher salt. We have butter as our garnishment. Let it rest for at least five minutes. Uh, this steak, I'm gonna let it rest for about 10. The thicker, the longer it needs to rest. It'll tighten up pull all the juices inside so when you cut it they don't run out on your plate makes for the juiciest steak and when you go to a steakhouse you're gonna notice it comes out all glistening and juicy looking what do you think they put on there that's butter <laughs> everybody look how juicy oh my god how do they do their steaks like that well they got a big old thing of butter sitting beside the steak with a brush and they go whoop put it on the plate and send it out <laughs> look how juicy it is so here's the big reveal Tomahawk, cooked on high. Medium rare, perfect and juicy. Just the way we like it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.